every day we have to bring to training a watch, passport. Homecoming week. I just completed week one. So it's very quiet around here. But uh, for homecoming, I'm going with my girlfriend, Callie. I'm getting some a taste of what it's like to sort of travel alone. I already got a blister. Another day away to Excel. It's Saturday, and it's very strange around here because uh, Jilly is uh, in training uh, in Texas. Ryan is at work uh, at the golf course, and Brennan and Katie are at Florida State. So it's very quiet around here. I noticed this since Jill has been gone. She's com successfully completed her first week in training. I'm very proud of her. One thing that I've noticed since she's been gone, though, actually, Jill is good at a lot of things, but she's not necessarily a green thumb. This is her basil. Not doing too well. And then there's this beautiful plant that we have at the front door. Not doing very well either. Yikes. Welcome to the Donnelly house. We have a dead plant to greet you. Of course, she's not here to water them, but none of the live plants. I think we should look into buying fake plants for the house from now on. Uh, but that's all that's going on. We're watching the Florida State game, waiting for Ryan to get home from work. All is good. I wonder how everybody else is doing. The kids, uh, they're probably watching the Florida State game, which is on right now, and uh, Ryan should be home in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's Saturday, and there's no class today um, for training. So today has been a day of a little bit of relaxation, but um, a, a day that enabled me to catch up on all my videos and get ready to post them. I woke up and this hotel has a beautiful workout room. So I went and ran a little bit and then did some yoga. I haven't had a chance really very much to work out while I've been here during training because it's been so busy. I did one workout in the room and I had sort of told myself I was gonna try to work out at least three days a week. So if you count tomorrow, if I work out tomorrow, that'll make it three days for the week. So and tomorrow's Sunday, but anyway, um, I took a break from studying today. Some of my other classmates were studying, but I did mostly YouTube stuff and social and um, catching up sort of on like just all the stuff you need to do as a human, as a human adult to um, keep your life going, you know, financial stuff, that kind of junk. Anywho, um, I am going to head out right now um, and go have some burgers with friends of mine from class just to get out again. Oh, I watched the Florida State game too. Oh my gosh, you guys, Florida State played Boston College. It was a nail biter. If you guys watch that game, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thank goodness Florida State came out on top. Woohoo! I don't know that I'm going to do any studying today. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow, but I'll finish up some social stuff today for you guys and then um, start my studying tomorrow to put myself into a good place for next week. I know it's weird that I keep filming over here, but it's the best light because the rest of the room is very dark. If you can tell, even with the lights on, it's really dark. So this is the best place to film so you guys can see me. All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to try to film without causing a ruckus or a stir because I'm at the grocery store. I took an Uber this morning to church and then took an Uber to Trader Joe's. Got some more things at Trader Joe's and I'm going to head back to the hotel now. And I'm sort of getting an idea of what it's like. See, this whole training thing is perfect. Oh, my Uber's here. Hold on. I'll tell you in a minute. All right, I'm back in the hotel now, and I'm getting some a taste of what it's like to sort of travel alone and um, like navigate my way around and get food and that kind of stuff. So hold on a second. Okay, so what I mean is this. I'm trying to figure out how my flow is going to go, and that's one of the things that in training they keep saying. And you guys, by the way, I know I didn't say it yet. If you're new to the channel, I am in flight attendant training. I'm gonna become a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. We are four weeks in Dallas training and I just completed week one and now I'm rolling into week two. One of the things they keep emphasizing because life is so different as a pilot or a flight attendant that you have to sort of get your flow. You have to realize like how you're gonna do things, not only like working on the plane, which is entails so much more than I ever even anticipated. And that'll be a whole different video. We'll talk about that because that is, it's insane. Um, also, if you follow me on TikTok, I'll be putting up TikTok things about that. But anyway, um, not only getting your flow on the plane, but getting your flow as you're traveling. Like, um, are you going to bring your own food or are you gonna spend money on food when you travel? Which we all know that food gets expensive in airports and um, out to eat every time. I wanna try to keep my food as similar to what I eat at home as possible. So my digestive system works well. And so I, you know, can balance all my nutrition and all that. So 
Um, a lot of flight attendants and pilots will carry food bags, you know, like um, insulated tote, like basically big, huge lunch bags where they will carry their food for their whole trip in this bag. So um, meal prepping is a very big part of um, flight attendant or, you know, aviation life, if that's what you're doing. So meal prepping is what I'm um, going to be trying to do. So one of the things, again, that they teach you during training that's sort of like like you learn in an ancillary way is they get you ready for the crazy hours. They get you ready for how your what your flow is going to be like, how you're going to eat your food, all that stuff. If you go to an office like a regular sort of nine to five job, you get to go home in between and pack your food and, and bring it each day to work. Whereas when you're a flight attendant, that's not the case. You don't go home. So you really would be packing food for three to four days. So I hope I'm not speaking um, gibberish. Hope you guys understand what this all means. I know I might be using some lingo. I hope I'm not. Um, because I'm very conscientious of when I was learning all about this, the lingo was like, oh, what? So to explain it to you. But anyway, let me show you what I got at Trader Joe's and sort of what my thought process is right now as it relates to food. Another thing they're getting that you used to during training is a lot of walking. And I'm wearing my new flight attendant shoes because so I'm trying to break them in. These fancy, fancy, wancy, um, comfortable shoes. But look, I already got a blister. Can you see right there? Oh, shoot, you can't see, it's behind the Band-Aid. But um, I've been walking the past three days with this huge blister. So again, it's all to get us ready to go fly the friendly sky. So here we go. This is what I got from Trader Joe's. Let's start with breakfast. I got these egg bites that I can just heat up and eat for breakfast and they're very portable. Love those. Got some half and half. I don't know that I'll be taking this with me anywhere, but this is for training but um, to make my coffee and to put a little half and half in my coffee, I've got to figure that out moving forward, but I think I'll have places to get coffee, obviously. Moving forward, um, I also got hard boiled eggs. This is mostly for lunch, so I'm gonna have different bags of salad and I will probably pre-make my salads. I was thinking about I about making my salads and putting them like in a Ziploc bag and vacuum sealing them so they are nice and flat. I would put the lettuce, the tomatoes, the cheese, where's my cheese? My blue cheese and my shredded carrots all in a Ziploc bag and then keep some croutons on the side and my dressing on the side and then just like have three of them, one for each day while I'm traveling. Thing is, I don't think that there's really gonna be, there might not be a lot of time to actually eat a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner while I'm traveling. Um, so you sort of have to sneak it in when you can. So that's another reason why I'm also gonna bring like little snacky things. Like I think I might pack like a little protein pack that has like a hard boiled egg in it, a little thing of maybe baby bell cheese and some nuts um, and then water, like that kind of thing to sort of keep me powered up throughout the day. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start meal prepping all this stuff so I can bring them this week to training. I just don't have a bag to put it in. I did not bring a food bag and we could have ordered one when we ordered our luggage when we did all of our uniforms because we had uniform fittings. I didn't even tell you guys about that. But when we did our uniform fittings, we ordered our luggage. I did not order a food bag because I wasn't quite ready and I didn't know what size to get. But now I'm doing some research and I think I research and I think I know so I might order one while I'm here and have it delivered here and start to practice with it here and see what that flow is going to be like. And um, yeah, so that's what I have so far. <laughs> that's what I'm doing at flight attending training on a weekend. Good morning, everybody. It is three something in the morning. It is 325 in the morning. It's Monday. It's the sixth day of flight attendant training. So it's the first day of the second week and I am down here at the hotel lobby getting ready for, to wait on the shuttle. So when the shuttle comes at four, we're supposed to be in the lobby at 3.30 um, and get on the shuttle at 3.15 and leave, I'm sorry, be in the lobby at 3.30, get on the shuttle at 3.45 and leave at four o'clock. And I'm the first one down here, which is so crazy because if you've been watching for a long time and you know, um, I am definitely a very, very on-time person in terms of like, I get there right when I'm supposed to be there. Um, but I have been very early for all of my flight attendant training. I am, um, they're training us to be early and it's working. So anyway, I wanted to share with you so far um, what I brought this morning in my two bags for flight attendant training. So I have for my training day. So our training day will start today at 
uh, 4.30, right? Because we get the shuttle at 4. So it'll start at 4.30. And I think we're scheduled to go today until 4 this afternoon. So it's a 12-hour day, big one. We have two proficiencies today. We've got to learn um, how to arm and cross check doors. When you're on a, a flight and you hear the flight attendants say, arm and cross check doors, that is what we are learning about today. So I have my coffee with me. I make it in my room. It is Starbucks. And I have creamer in my room because I have a refrigerator up there. I brought my breakfast, some snacks, and lunch. There are lots of cafeterias in our building, um, but I decided that I wanted to bring my own today because I wanted to try to um, sort of manage my eating a little bit better. Okay, so this is what I have. It's all packed up, so I'm gonna kind of unpack it for you. So I brought for breakfast, I brought egg bites. These are from Trader Joe's. They are cheddar cheese and uncured bacon egg bites. I'm gonna throw those in the microwave. Um, not right when I get there, but probably during one of the breaks later on at a humane hour, maybe around seven for breakfast. I have my coffee. Um, I brought another coffee just in case because it's so darn early and some creamers. So there's some creamers in my bag because the only cream they have there is powder cream and I don't want that. And then for lunch, I brought my salad. I made my salad, it has salad mix, carrots, blue cheese, tomatoes, um, and then a hard boiled egg and croutons. I went to Trader Joe's yesterday after church and got some stuff at Trader Joe's. And of course my Ken's Italian dressing and marinade, my favorite salad dressing. And then I have two snacky snacks um, from Trader Joe's. I have these little packets of um, trail mix. So I have two of those for when I get hungry. And I'll show you what's in my bag in just a second. All right, every day we have to bring to training a watch, passport, a flashlight, my badge with my employee number on it, which I'm not going to show you guys because that's too much information. And we have to bring our iPad, which you guys will see if you ride, if you go ride on Southwest or if you fly Southwest, you'll see the flight attendants carrying this. And this is how we um, get all of our information and updates and everything. But it's also how we charge um, y'all for drinks if you order an alcoholic drink or a drink that is premium. Of course, I have my wallet has all my other stuff in it and I have my training supplies. I have my pencils and pens and Sharpies, my notebook that I use, my training packet that I use, my glasses, band-aids because I already have a huge blister on my foot from all the walking and the new, sh new flight attendant shoes, portable charger, more index cards, post-it notes that I haven't used yet but I'm going to use because we have a big exam coming up on Wednesday. I'm going to need them. These are the um, index cards that I've already written with all my different notes on them. A charger for my iPad. That's it. I my Altoids. Lipstick. AirPods. So that's what I have. That's what I'm bringing to training class this morning. We have a... Good morning, Dina. We have a... Um, I think I told you already we have two proficiencies today. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to you guys and learn all my stuff. Well, I learned it last night, but I'm just going to review it today. And my classmates are starting to um, come to the lobby, so I'll see you guys soon. Actually, I'll probably see you after class. Just came back from training. You guys, it's 3.06 in the afternoon. So we got the shuttle at 4 o'clock and returned at 3. So it wasn't quite a 12-hour day today but it certainly felt like it. My feet are killing me. The Southwest campus is so humongous. Um, and I just want to be clear. I told you I'm going to be a, I'm, I'm training to be a Southwest flight attendant, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember what I said in the morning because it was 2.30 in the morning or three o'clock in the morning. But anyway, um, so we were in the Southwest campus today as we have been every day and it's humongous and spectacular. And Parts of it were existing, but then they just built this whole new training center and it's absolutely beautiful, but boy, do we walk. So I think uh, walking like we'll, we'll walk at airports and that kind of thing. We did a ton of really cool things today, learned a lot. We are learning the different phases of flight. And if you guys have been in an airplane, you know that there's like the taxi, the takeoff, the flying, and then the descent and the arrival and all that stuff. So we're going through all of those different phases, sort of step by step and the roles and responsibilities that flight attendants have and the different people that we work with, with the operations agents and um, the captains, the pilots, all of that. So um, it is more than I'd ever imagined. And I have to say that often, I mean, we fly a lot, like our family flies a lot, as you guys know, if you've been watching for a long time, 
It is amazing to me. It's like a well orchestrated symphony <clears throat> when you fly. It, it just is so seamless in terms of what the flight attendants are doing and the pilots doing and the operations and ages. And it's, you know, oftentimes there's like irregular operations where there's like delays and that kind of stuff. But for the most part, like once you board the plane, it goes fast and it's like, bam, 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 bam. And as a pilot or as a passenger, you're like, okay, I got on the plane, I sat down. I'm just gonna hang out here, maybe get a drink and then land and be done with it. But the flight attendants are working and working and working and working. There's so many things they're doing behind the scenes that you do not realize. And it is so cool. Maybe someday I'll get to share some of that stuff with you. Of course, not anything proprietary, but just the regular things that flight attendants do. Um, I'm not gonna get into it now. It's a lot of detail. And right now I'm just sort of sharing with you what training is all about. Plus the fact I'm still learning it. So I don't even know that I could be so accurate when I tell you it. Um, but anyway, a great day today. I'm exhausted. Um, I am going to go ahead and study a friend of mine. So it's three o'clock. We're going to study until 530. There's a yoga class at 530. We're going to go take a yoga class like I did this weekend at this at the yoga center and the teacher was amazing. And then we're going to study more after that. So we have homework to do. Oh, I passed two for two two proficiencies today, which is really good. So two tests, which is nice. Everything's going well. I'm still in. I, I'll tell you, it's tough. Some people have, have are not here anymore. Uh, so, you know, you have to keep passing the test to stay in. So uh, fingers crossed, it's going well. And I really, really enjoy it. And I cannot wait to master all of these skills. All right, so maybe I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Hopefully, Brennan, Kitty, Ryan, and Mike are doing well. I was able to talk to Brennan really quickly at lunch today and Mike and I texted back and forth a little bit, but I usually try to get in touch with each of them at least once every other day. Well, hey, Ryan. Hey. Big week. Big week. Hoka week. Homecoming week. So I got a lot of stuff to do because SGA is putting on all the events this week because it is spirit week. But uh, for homecoming, I'm going with my girlfriend, Callie. She's wearing this blue dress and I have to match it. So uh, sometime this week, we are going out and getting a blue bow tie and uh, we're gonna complete my fit for homecoming. You guys are gonna be able to see how it all comes together. I'm Excellent. really excited. Uh, so it's, it's like white pants, white shoes, white belt? She wants white pants, which I don't know. If I, I've never done white on white, uh -huh. with the blue bow tie. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. I have a blue suit already. Um, oh, right. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. We're gonna right. put together a fit. Hey, great. you know what we should do is get your white, your nice white shirt, clean it, and send it to the dry cleaner so they can press it for us. Yeah, totally. And then we'll uh, we'll look for a bow tie. Totally. Is that cool. Perfect. Uh, so when do we do that? So that's Saturday, right? Uh, so what are we gonna go do that? I mean, kind of busy this week. <laughs> um. I say, give me your shirt. I'll uh, make sure it's uh, ready to go for you because, thank you. golly, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, because it takes a while to dry clean a shirt around yeah. here, so yeah. let's do that and at least find a, a bow tie that matches. I am going to call it a night, you guys. It is so dark in here, and I'm using my new ring light. Watch this. Hold on. Boop. So I got this because I am sick and tired of feeling in the dark. <laughs> so it is now exactly 10.01 p.m. I'm waking up at 2.30 a.m. for my class or to, to catch the shuttle for my um, training class tomorrow. So if I can get in bed before 10.30, it is a total win. So I get a little bit more than four hours of sleep. Um, so I'm gonna head off. Since I last spoke with you, did I talk to you guys? Yeah, when I came back from class, I studied, studied, studied literally from what, four o'clock, I'm gonna say, until 10 o'clock. I did take an hour in between for the most, um, most amazing yoga class. It's so what I needed, and me and three of my other um, classmates took a yoga class together, which was amazing, and then, um, I microwaved my dinner and ate it while I studied with my friend Sydney, and we studied until 10 o'clock. So it's been um, a lot of work. <laughs> so I'm gonna brush my teeth, wash my face, go to bed, and start all over again tomorrow. You guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying my flight attendant training videos. I'm not sure I can show you so, so much, but um, I just wanted to stay in touch with you guys and I'll be able to show you more once training is over, I hope. All right, talk to you guys soon. Comment below, made you guys happy today. Definitely what made me happy today was passing my provisions, uh, my, my proficiencies and talking to Mike and Ryan. Love you.